God appreciate your neighbor. Angaza banga bulisa nga bazo kalabi. Neighbor, I love you. And I want you to know you matter so much to me. And I'm not letting you go until you are healed. I'm not letting you go until you are blessed. I'm not letting you go until you are free. If you can't appreciate people, the people that you see, forget about God. So we start there because we want his presence. Not only do we, do we want to be in, in church, we want to feel his presence. But the trick for God's presence to be, it's love. When there is love and unity, that's when he will command a blessing. So as we love one another, as we appreciate one another, we are getting ready to pray for one another. We are not letting anyone go with the same problem that they came with. So whatever report you have with you, I want to tell you, if you have it, take it out, kiss it goodbye. Whatever summons you have there, Whatever case, eh, bye. I don't care what they said about you. All I know, your future is brighter than your past. You are too quick to rule yourself out. Because you have not known what is inside of you. There are things you can do. There are things you can't do. So those that you can do, excel. Those that you can't do, don't do. So give me that shout of praise because you are aware of your natural abilities. You understand who you are. Please, my neighbor, I might be walking now because my Ferrari is being manufactured. a different medical report. It's not what you are going through. It's what God is saying to you. And he's saying to you through me, his grace is sufficient. When you know that, you will dance when there's no music. Because a woman and a man of faith, you rejoice when there's nothing to thank God about. Woman and a man of faith, you rejoice when you go to the bank and it says insufficient fines. I receive my millions. I'm a woman of faith. Let me see the men and women of faith. Let me see the men and women of faith. Any child that has a father, there's no need to ask. Whatever the father owns, it's yours. 
The only problem that you have, tell your neighbor, I know you, you don't know when it's coming. That's why you are worried. Yeah, I'm shaking, I'm shaking, I'm shaking. Wah, ka, ka, ka. You don't know when your breakthrough is coming. You don't know when your tender is coming. You don't know when your permanent contract is coming. Now you are worried. Laugh at yourself. There's no need to worry. There's no need to worry. Look here. God has got no hands. He's got no mouth to speak. He uses people. He is saying your success is over too. you have to do plan when your situation changes what are you going to do with that well tell them yo, 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 yo. hello when you start working next week what are you going to do tell them never i don't discuss problem i discuss solutions i'm discussing when i'm working i'm not discussing i'm not working hello i'm discussing when i am working which house which suburb I'm... Yeah! Yeah! Happy to Lord, free every bound person, all the finances that are locked, open Jesus. Lord, we need a miracle. Yes, he's here. He's here. He is here. He's opening those doors. He is healing that sickness. He's restoring that home because it's God. When you are here for him, he's coming to you. You'll never be the same again. I know you're not working. Somebody will call you. Somebody will call you. Somebody will call you. Be blessed. Be freed. Be delivered. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Even in the structure. I know they said you can't have a child. He's giving your child to you. They said your, your tubes are blocked. He's doing it just for you. I know you are sick there. They said you won't live. He is healing you right now. He is the Messiah. What he says he will do. He's here. I Satan. Whatever that they've said to you, he's freeing you, even in the structure. Yes. Hey, hey. Even in the structure, they said you will not have a child. I want to tell you, you will have Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego. God is opening your womb right now. Seize menstruations. Where are you? God is God. He's relevant. His word is enough. He says, I'm freeing you today for my glory. Jesus, Jesus. Some of you, you have CKs. I release those CKs in those throwers. Whatever is stopping your progress, somebody should call you. Jesus' name. Whatever you've been fed from the enemy's table, 
be vomited out. Whatever witchcraft that is following you, be set free. Set free. It is the plans of God to prosper you. No man has got control of your future. Only God. If man has boxed you, you are freed right now. In Jesus' name. If man has limited you, you are free. Hey, I am more, more than a conqueror. Hello? I am more than a conqueror through Christ who strengthens me. Hey! God bless you. Whatever your heart you are thinking, God bless you. How are you? Whatever you can do, do it. What you can't, don't bother yourself. Amen. What do you want? Ah, uh, she must tell. A babe. She will have. How can she go have a baby when she does not have periods? How can I see that? It's <laughs> God. It's God. Uh, do you have a placard? No. Huh? That no. says that you are not having your, your period. Sometimes I won't bleed. You don't bleed. Yes. yes. So if you are not, not fertile, how can you conceive? But now these things, you will bath them like children. You go, they are going to come out. Thank you, Jesus. Then you have a nice boy for God's glory. Praise the Lord. There's the power of prophecy. Go and buy blue clothes. Name your child. The scripture was Luke. That's the child's name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. If it is God, by this time next year, you'll come with your child. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Don't despair. There are delays. There are not denials. All right. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you. Okay. And God will bless you. But you'll get one now. Okay. You get one because right. your marriage is shaky. Yeah. And you are coming from somewhere. You want me to t tell you your story? I'm a prophet. Praise the Lord. This is the power of prophecy. <laughs> <laughs> prophet. Why do they say prophet? It means revelational knowledge. <laughs> hey. Welcome to the prophetic ministry. Prophet will tell you what, where, who. Not for anything, for God's glory. It's not the Father. Oh. God, <laughs> give him a son. Your marriage will be good. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Hey, what? Man, you prophesied. Yes. Me, I'm also married to that man. So I want to, to hear the word of God. Ah, what must I do? Hey, this I case needs God. Tell your neighbor, hey, this case needs God. Yes. Two wives right in church. Hey, hey, hey. Huh? Where is your wife? Where is your other wife? The man you prophesied. Just you now is also yours. Say, no. say, say slowly now. Say, say. Let's hear what you say. Say. You say what? <laughs> the man you just prophesy now. Me, I'm also married to him. So I want to know the, the word of God to me. What must I do? Okay, now? where is him? Where is he? Come. Go, son. I. Asamben. Asamben. Oh, God. Tell your neighbor, mind your own business. <laughs> Come, let's, let's ask God what to do. This family, they want to know the mind of God. They're not going home. This is a very, very, very sad situation. But it will help a lot of you. This will help a lot of families. Eh? It will help a lot of Give the microphone, please come, my sister. Ne? This is the other lady. They had problems. So as a result, this man found another lady. Have you seen? Many homes are breaking the same way. Tell your neighbor. Many homes are breaking the same way. 
It's not good to blame each other. Something must have happened to drive the other party away. Now, I want them to represent the families of God. You might be sitting there, you are in the same situation. We have to shame Satan. For our families, we have to shame Satan for our own future. So I want you to please believe with me the mind of God. If it is God, what I'm going to tell them, they will accept it. I'm not talking about what I don't know. I know what it is to lose a home. I know what it is to forgive and go back to your home. Tell your neighbor, pastor talks about practicals. Hello? Hello? I mean, I'm not a comic. I'm telling you my life experience. I know what it is to have a broken home. I know what it is to forgive and go back. So what I'm sharing with you, tell your neighbor, it's pro Prophet Kathy's testimony. It's not a book. She didn't read it from... Hello? Amen. So, as I'm speaking to them, I'm speaking to you. Amen. You must listen. If you're in the same situation, hear the mind of God. Go back to your husband. Hi, hi, ahambila ma amen. Ahambila. Hey, ahambila ma amen. Ah, pila ma amen. Ah, pila ma amen. Now, you, my sister, God will give you a husband. Amen. This is, belongs to her. Amen. God will bless you. You wanted the mind of God. You kneel down and ask for forgiveness. I'll give you money. You go and get the children. Give them to your husband. Forgiveness, please. Please, my husband, oh, forgive please. me. Oh, please forgive my husband. God. Please, please forgive me. She's saying, please, my husband, forgive me. I'm going to forgive you. Forgive her for taking the kids away, all the things you've told me. She was afflicted. And you must forgive him. God will give you a husband. Okay? I forgive you. Um. This is God. Forgive, huh? Forgive. Forgive. You forgive her. You forgive him. Forgive each other. Please. God will bless you. It's painful, but doing what is right, that's where the blessing is. Amen. Can you please tell us your name and where you're from? Okay. My name is Catherine Kamsoko. I come from Zimbabwe. Now I'm staying here in Bramfish. We believe we've got a testimony for us. Can you please share the testimony with us? Yes. Um, last week, Pastor Ru came here the and give me a prophecy. My husband is standing near me and said, you woman, you have a, you, what is in your stomach? And I said, I don't know. And said, there is a fibrous there in the, inside your stomach. And I say, I didn't know. But I know after marriage for seven years, I did two miscarriages. So when I at home, I said, okay, that's why he di did the miscarriages. After that, two miscarriages, I have a, another child. After that, there is a woman, they standing there. It's my husband's wife again. And he came to the front. When you prophesied Yes. Me, I'm also married to that man. So I want to, to hear the word of God. Ah, what must I do? Hey, this case I needs hear. God. Tell your neighbor, hey, this case needs God. Yes. Two wives right in church. Amen. Yeah. Huh? Where is your wife? Where is your other wife? 
The man who prophesied. Just you now is also yours. Say, say, no. say slowly now. Say, say. Let's hear what you say. Say. You say what? The <laughs> man you just prophesied now. Me, I'm also married to him. So I want to know the, the word of God to me. What must I do? Okay, now? where is him? Where is he? Come. Goes on. I... Asambin. Asambin. He talked to me. The pastor Ruth take, take us and got it inside the office. And we took <laughs> Asambin. Asambin. Oh God. Tell your neighbor, mind your own business. <laughs> Come, let's, let's ask God what to do. So I want to testify for the woman of God. Said, love your husband, forgive. Now I'm 14 years in marriage. I want to thank God. He is a great woman. Just want to thank God for your testimony. Thank you, Jesus. Please, my husband, oh, forgive please. me. Oh, please forgive my husband. God. Please forgive me. She's saying, please, my husband, forgive me. I'm going to forgive you. Forgive her for taking the kids away, all the things you've told me. She was afflicted. And you must forgive him. God will give you your husband. Okay? I forgive you. Um. This is God. Forgive, eh? Forgive. Forgive. You forgive her. You forgive him. Forgive each other. Please. God will bless you. Yeah? It's painful, but doing what is right, that's where the blessing is. People would rather live average than to do the will of God. It's not because you are breathing that you are living. You must be in the perfect will of God. God cannot give you a husband to reject. He's not like that. Now you, you have come. She has come to you. She's humbling herself. Okay? I don't mind your parts, but I want you to forgive her. She's the mother of your children. She's also the mother of your children. But you have lied to her. So she has forgiven you. Have you seen? Because your children won't ask where she is. They want their father. Yes, they're asking me. They're asking, they asking me, where is my where, mama? Where is my father? Mm. And they say, my father is, they, is he in his father. Tell your neighbor, the children don't, don't ask which latest jeep you are driving. Tell your neighbor, they want their father. They don't ask how much salary you are earning. They want... I will lose an argument and win a relationship. Mom says she's also the same. Wait. I'm serious. This is important to me. Huh? I will lose an argument and win a relationship. Please, do what is right, not what you want. Contribute without benefiting for the sake of your children. If you are listening to me here, you must come and see me. I will be here. After service, I will talk to you. Please come. I will talk to you. I will listen to you. And we will even phone him or her. Amen. Amen. So I'll be waiting for you. Because of this couple, there are so many families that are being set free now. You can refuse the will of God, but you live an average life. Where there's a blessing, there's obedience. It's not what we want. It's what God wants. If all of us had a choice what we want, then there would be no purpose of God. <laughs> it's what God wants. 
Now, if you have ears and you are hearing me now, please do yourself a favor. Forgive and move on. Forgive. Children are not interested in anything but their parents. You see society the way it is. It's because of the splits of families. You cannot be a woman and think you'll replace a man's role. It's impossible. Even if you're not agreeing with the, that man, don't keep the children away from their parents. Let the parents have the right for, to their fathers and their mothers. They're innocent. Can't keep your child away from their father because you're upset. Can't keep a child from their mother because you're upset. You're unfair. Let the child see their father when they want. Let the child see their mother when they want to. If you cannot forgive, forget about God. Tell your neighbor. You are just a clown. Tell your neighbor. If you can't forgive, you are just a clown. Because Christ is founded in love. So because of this family, I'm praying even for you. Yes, there's differences. But please, don't desert your children. Go and see them. Be responsible. Children are innocent. Fight your own fight. Leave the kids out. Tell your neighbor. Utu pastor. Iluan lempien. Nyegingan. Ah, gutu lila. Ama amen. Ahambi. I will say amen to myself. Because the truth is what sets people free. And God bless you. Whilst you are arranging the wedding, the remarriage, pastor has got a register. She'll sign you again. No problem. Amen. <laughs> so please help me to shout this shout of praise to thank God for the restoration of our families. Those who don't know their fathers, please go and find him. Buy him slippers. Those who don't know their mothers, go find them. Say, I'm sorry, mom. I've missed all the childhood years, but you are still my father. You are still my mother. I love you. That's where the blessing is. That's where the blessing is. Truth will set you free. So, you are my friend from today. These people must work on their home. Ne? Where you stay? You're my friend. So God will help you to forgive. Okay? You're my best friend from today. Okay? You need a strong rope holder. I know you love that man. But please give this marriage a chance. Okay? Thank you for listening to me. So you can wait for us, and then we'll see you with Pastor Ne. Thank you. After church service, come see me. We're going to have lunch and celebrate because we have forgiven each other. I want my husband back. I want your husband back. Hey. Please pray for me. Oh, God. You don't know what people go through. They tell them about this is service. Yeah, she's running. I want my husband back. And your husband will come back. She's not the only one. Look, the victory is when you have made a mistake, you look back and you correct it. Then you are a champion. Tell on him. <laughs> eh? When you have made a mistake, you stop and you say, my pride, I divorce you. I swallow you. Because when I swallow you pride, I won't be fat. And I want my husband back. This is what she's saying. She's been telling everyone, I'm fine, I'm fine alone. But today is the deliverance. And the husband, I will phone him personal. Next week, the husband will be sitting with him. <laughs> yes! Hey! If you are there, you have the same problem. Come now. It's your grace. It's your grace. It's your grace. Depending how tired you are of the situation. I'm telling you, I know what it is to lose at home. I know what it is to go back to my home. So I have that anointing to break that yoke.
Can you please tell us your name, where you're from? I'm Grasa Ntoane. I'm from Rodeport. We believe you've got a testimony for us. Can you please share your testimony? Yes, I do. Uh, two months ago, um, I got separated with my husband. And I didn't understand what was going on. And I made a decision that I will give him the divorce if that's what he want. And then um, two, weeks, uh, two weeks before the prayer, my friend, they were renewing their vows. And as they were re- re- renewing their vows, something happened in my spirit. And then I said to God, Father, I'm hurting. I don't understand what happened with my husband. And as Grasa, I do not want to take my husband back. But let your will be done. Because you know better and your ways are higher than my ways. And I went home. The following day, I started thinking about him. And for the first time, I realized that I actually love my husband. And I realized that I actually wanted my husband back. And I prayed and I said, Father, but I'm hurting. And as I'm hurting, I don't know how to deal with the pain because he has hurt me so much and humiliated me so much. And, but God came in. I started, you know, crying. I started dealing with the issues. And on Sunday, I came to, uh, to Prophet Ru and I said, I want my husband back. I want my husband back. I want my husband back. Hey. Please pray for me. Oh, God. You don't know what people go through. They tell them about this is service. Yeah, she's running. I want my husband back. And your husband will come back. She's not the only one. Look, the victory is when you have made a mistake. You look back and you correct it. Then you are a champion. Tell on him. <laughs> eh? When you have made a mistake, you stop and you say, my pride, I divorce you. I swallow you. Because when I swallow you, pride, I won't be fat. And I want my husband back. This is what she's saying. She's been telling everyone, I'm fine, I'm fine alone. But today is the deliverance. And the husband, I will phone him personal. Next week, the husband will be sitting with him. <laughs> yes! Hey! If you are there, you have the same problem. Come now. It's your grace. It's your grace. It's your grace. Depending how tired you are of your situation. I'm telling you, I know what it is to lose at home. I know what it is to go back to my home. So I have that anointing to break that yoke. One day, I came to, uh, to Prophet Ru and I said, I want my husband back. And she prayed for all of us. A miracle happened because my husband has always been hesitant. You know, he, he would lash out every time when I phoned him. But this time, I phoned him and not because... I wanted to blame him of what he has done or what I did. I just phoned him to tell him that, listen, I'm sorry because I'm looking at the fact what God has for us and not what we did in the past. He listened and he said, it is okay. And at that moment, I received deliverance and I received peace. So I thank God that my husband is back in my life. Praise the Lord. Just want to thank God for your testimony. Just want to thank God also for the restoration in your family. What word of encouragement can you give to our viewers and those who are going through the same problem that you went through? All I can say, I'm not going to talk a lot about men. I'm not a man. But I'm going to talk to women. Women, when things happen in our marriage, we need to stop blame shifting. We need to examine ourselves. And most of the time, the devil only comes through us, not through a man. That's why the word of God says, a wise woman builds her home, but a foolish one destroys it. So when something happens before you become emotional and go to court and file for divorce, first look, ask God, because God speaks, ask, Father, where did I go wrong? Was I a good wife? And when you ask him genuinely, the Holy Spirit will answer you and your marriage will be restored. Praise the Lord, clap hands for our sister. (laughs) 
Yes, you call the husband here. Yeah, come, look. Come, your wife, you. <laughs> These are spiritual matters. Have you seen? What God has put together. You see all these women? All of them will be in the front and testifying. Have you seen? Yeah, these women. Oh, God. Oh. Tell me if I don't hear from God. Look at this response. Yeah? God. Look. All these people are crying for their husband. You, you are saying your husband is useless. Tell on him. Huh? You are saying your husband is nothing. Young Gina, Lord. Hey, hey. These are crying for their husbands. These are lessons to learn in life. Have you seen? You, when you have a husband, he's useless. Eh? One thing, look at the women are crying for their husbands. You have your wife, she's nothing. She's a, she's a pain. Hmm? They are crying for their husbands. And it's, she's, she's also crying for, <laughs> for your wife. Yeah. Hey, that's a man. What happened? We just fired her. Huh? We're just fighting. We're just fighting. So you want your wife back? Yes. My brother, God will do it for you. Oh. He did it for me. Oh. What I'm telling you, I'm not telling you a story. Oh. You see this prophet? This prophet knows how to lose a home. Oh. This prophet knows how to find it again. Oh. So because I know how, I can tell you. Thanks. Yes. Oh. Yes. Oh. Yes. Oh. God. Oh. God. Tell your neighbor, God. You know God. The same people, look at them, zoom them nice. They'll be coming with their spouses. We'll all do a, a, a remarry party. God. 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 Tell your neighbor. We are not telling you what we heard. We are telling you what we know. God. God. Hey. What God has put together. You cannot separate what God has put together. You can delay. So all these people, I'm waiting for their testimony. Where's your husband? He's gone to his parents' house. He packed and left. He hasn't packed, but that's where he went today. Okay. So how is the relationship? It's not good. There's not no good. peace. Uh, Pastor, she, he called me on Wednesday. and Your husband? No. He's, we, we met and he said we have to finalize the things of divorce. So what are you saying? I want him back. Did you tell him? You didn't. I didn't. Your pride stood in front of you. It stood before you. Phone him and tell him how you're feeling. And you don't have to say a lot of words. S-O-R-R-Y is enough. I'm sorry. Yes. A strong man will always say, you don't have to be right to apologize. Yes. Peace. There's no peace. <sighs> These are all the people who have responded. They want reconciliation in their marriages. They want their husbands and wives back. The woman of God is imparting the spirit of reconciliation. Remember, you cannot give what you don't have. And she says what she's talking about. She's been through it. And she's the perfect person to impart the spirit. The spirit of reconciliation. All you have
have to do is to forgive. Just forgive for whatever wrongs. Value those differences. There's no two people who are the same. It's painful, I know. I know what you are feeling. I can tell you right now. It's painful. The problem with trouble, it does not tell you that it's coming. It just comes. It does not knock. But because in your matter, you have God. Your load is light. Yes. Um, he's back uh, in your castle and we started communicating. <laughs> Let's see the other people behind, please. Yes. Mm. My husband is staying with another lady. Husband is staying with another lady. It's painful. I know. Don't worry. You yes. want him back. I'm praying for a miracle here. When these people come, please promise me you'll be wives, not knives. Huh? You promise me. Because if you fail God, it means you have failed me as well. Now God will bring them back. What you do with them, that's entirely up to you. You can make or break your home. But God will do it for you. He's done it for me. I'm standing in front of you. I'm a testimony. If I had to be asked whom I should marry, I would marry the same man again. So this is what I'm saying to you. God will do it. Just believe God. He will do it. He will do it just for you. But when the person comes, that is your assignment. You don't look at the person. You look at the God in the person. If you fail God, you fail yourself. So I'm praying now. Okay? If you believe and I believe together Stand up and, and also pray if for our believe, families. If you believe and now believe and we together pray the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit must come down and Africa.
give her a microphone. Testify. You ladies, listen to her. Greetings in Jesus' name. Um, I just want to testify and encourage uh, the ladies or the people who are standing in front of us. I have gone through similar uh, situation. I was uh, separated before. It was not easy. It was a difficult uh, time. And it was obviously affecting the entire family and the children. But uh, by the grace of God and through our mom, I was um, reconciled with my, with my husband. I went back home. And I think it's for the best of, um, of the kids and for the family. When we were separated, um, children were going through a difficult time. It affected them at school as, as well. It affected them. Um, they didn't have friends. They didn't want to do anything. But I thank God that uh, I was able to, you know, to, to see light. Because on my own, I wasn't going to go back because of the things that were happening. It only takes God for me to go back. It was so painful, so difficult. And it's very painful for me to see all these people uh, going through the same thing. It's painful. But if you got the grace to go back, please go back to your spouses. Who's standing next to you? It's my husband. When are you remarrying again? 24th of October. God. There are others separated for 12 years. So we have seen God. What we are talking about, we have experienced it. Broken homes, they can be reconciled. It depends how much you want it. God is a gentleman. He will not impose himself. If you can forgive, you can be able to love again. So, you hear our sister. Please, I'm so excited inside of me. Can you please help me to shout a crazy noise to say thank you, Jesus, even for your case. Your case. Your case. Even for your own case. Thank you, Jesus, for that job. Thank you, Jesus, for that car. Thank you, Jesus. Rain Saramane. I'm from Winchester. Um, last week, when Pastor called people who wanted to go back with their husband, I actually went to the front and I hugged her and we prayed here. Yeah. And when I left church, I went home. I was waiting for him to come with my son. And my son came into the house. He said, Mom, Daddy wants to see you. I went outside and we spoke. We were like 16 year olds were in love. He was so loving. He said to me, my, my wife, I love you and I miss you. And he was hugging me. He, was, he said, hey, you even look young. You know, he was so loving. <laughs> um, all I can say is please forgive. Uh, a lot has happened to me, but what I've taken the decision to forgive, I forgive give and forget whatever that happened to me between me and him we're starting all over again it's okay it will be a little at a time but i know eventually it will be where i want where god wants it praise the lord this lady came here last week on sunday and they got prayer now she's been restored in her family praise the lord
three, two, one. Out! Normal vertex delivery, no operation. Amen. 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 Put it back. Never. No she operation. She will never get this baby. Never. No never. operation. Never. Who you are. <laughs> Who you are. Who you are. Yeah, you play English. No yes, operation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Never. She will die with this baby. Never. Never. Okay. You are just wasting your time. Never. Okay. Never. Hi, Siabong. Put it back. I've already done it. Okay. I've already done it. She will never get this baby. Never. Give never. Me. Never, 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 never. She will never, she will never, she will bye bye. Say, bye. How's your home? Give a microphone. How's your family, my sister? Uh, we are getting well. Last time I was delivered, my mom was. Uh, Having blood, uh, he was also bleeding blood. She was bleeding through yes. the nose. How is your mother now? She's better now. She said she's going to come to church. Amen. Praise the Lord. This is a lady who came last week. She was standing in proxy for her family. Everybody was sick in the family. She got delivered. We know that distance is not a barrier for the power of God. Now she's testifying that the mother is healed. Praise the Lord. This is for your family. Catch it. Yes! For me, Jesus! our anointing was. Jesus! I gave come God, away. Even you, please stretch your hand to your family. Come Speak salvation in your home. Speak unity, speak oneness, speak healing. Oh, I get a conge. God, away. Pray for blessings, divine protection for your mother, your father, your sister. Call them by name. Yes, yes, freedom. I get Stretch your right hand to your family. Speak divine protection. Call your children by name. Claim their salvation. is involved in your matter it doesn't matter who else is involved when Jesus Christ is involved in your matter that settles it the level of blessing is equivalent to the level of trials you are very intelligent these are setbacks don't declare yourself as a failure you are not Amen. Give God a chance. Whatever you've lost is coming back. Amen. Please tell your neighbor, I'm not a failure.
Huh? Delay is not denial. There are people who are lost. There are people who need direction. So when I am delayed, I seek direction. When I find it, watch the space. I'm born to win. I'm not a failure. I can be delayed. You can't deny me the blessings of God. Doesn't mean I'm a failure. Delay is not denial. When I'm delayed, I'm sharpening the saw. I'm appreciating Mzalwan. He's handsome. Look at him. Wow. <laughs> the single ones open your eyes. There's no denial. There's delay. Even if you can be, so I don't know, even if you can be hundred, it's possible. <laughs> yeah? You hear what I'm saying? Even if you can be, you can be delayed. Yes. Even if you can be delayed, hundred, you can still marry. That is the word of prophecy setting this lady free. Please tell your neighbor. There are blessings we haven't even tapped into. And they're all yours. It's just a matter of time. You don't even have a clue. They're all yours. God has given them to you. It's just a matter of the way you know the time is half past one. In the spirit, if you could know what time you are at, you would relax. If you knew your life, what time? In the spirit, not with Michelle Hebley. In the spirit, you will relax. Now, when you don't know the time, you panic. When you panic, you make costly mistakes. Nobody is born to fail. This lady came with an eye problem. Her eyes are red, but she's come to the house of God, believing Jesus Christ for her healing. This lady says that her eyes started last year. Um, they were itching. And she met someone who put a curse on her and says she will go blind. Whose reports will you believe? God. Praise the Lord. She's believing the report of the Lord. Oh God is administering anointing water. If you are here and you are sick, imagine the possibilities. When you are healed, what will you do? Whose report will you believe? God. Huh? God. Men or God? God. Who's your manufacturer? God. Who's got spare parts for your body? God. God. At least you are clear. Tell your neighbor, I have spare parts. I have a spare parts. I have Come next week and testify. This lady says whenever she has money, she cannot account for it. When I have money, it just disappears. Like I would know I put something here. I started selling, but it all like literally goes. It disappears in the house. 
I'm going to go ahead and say this is the spirit of poverty. She says wherever she puts her money, it just disappears. The woman of God is using the, the note to deliver her. You must do not be surprised. This is not in the Bible. Jesus Christ says you will do more. Poverty does not go to po poor people. You might have, but you might, you might have poverty spirit. When you touch money, you want to go buy a loaf of bread, you come back with the whole trolley, with all the things you don't need. Tell your neighbor, poverty. It's a spirit. You've got six loaves of bread, and there's two of you, for all of them to go to the bin. Tell your neighbor, you poor. When I visit and abundance, Poverty. Hmm? Poverty is a spirit. Poverty. When you have money, you don't know where your peace is. <laughs> you lose it. Poverty. The spirit. Tell or never. Poverty has got no creed, no qualification, no graduate. This lady is called for wealth. No question. But there's somebody you owe. And they've cursed you. Today we change the curse to a blessing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. They said you will cease. If you don't bring my money, you will. Jesus. Playing with witchcraft. But today, this is from me to you. Thank you. Don't use it. Put it in your purse. Where's your purse? Oh God is imparting the spirit of wealth. You can't She's give asked. what you don't have. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Go and be blessed. <laughs>